Hey there, this is Brendan Stoneman with Remax Kelowna and I'm sitting down with home insurance expert Anita Peterson with Access Insurance. So now here in the Okanagan Valley, we do have a lot of people that, you know, they move here for the amazing summers and then they get out of town for the winters and go, you know, down south or something like that. So just wanted to chat with you about, you know, making sure that they keep their home insurance policy in good standing while they're going away for, you know, what might be days or weeks or even months sometimes. So snowbirds, mm -hmm. um, there is coverage. It always helps to let your broker know, at least we can put a note on the system just so that the insurance company knows that you're doing your due diligence. Let us know if you're gonna be gone for a long period of time because there are requirements to keep your policy in good standing. Mm -hmm. um, and that's in the winter time especially, we need to make sure that your home's heat and all that is being regulated. Make sure that pipes aren't freezing and that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. it's really important to just Keep in contact with your broker let us know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So if someone's away, then how, I guess, how often would the insurance company expect that someone's going by to check on the house? So um, it's changing a little bit as far as who goes into the home. They really want this person to know you and your home quite well. Um, so if it's a really close neighbor or immediate family member, that's really key. Mm -hmm. um, if not, check in with a property manager as well. But they want people going in there every three to four days. Mm -hmm. Our winters can get pretty nasty and it can get cold and then get warm. So getting in there every three to four days to make sure that everything's good mm -hmm. to go is really important. So what would happen then if you know, something happened, pipe burst, you know, water flood and people aren't away and they haven't been, you know, checking up on it as often as possible. They're really going to have some problems. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, it's so important to, as if, even though you're gone, it needs to be still lived in, in the sense of everything being regulated as far as, you know, turning on the taps, making sure that pipes haven't been frozen. Mm -hmm. um, it just, it creates a lot of problems if no one's been there, a pipe freezes and... If it's been like that for a week or two, it's it's going to create some havoc going through the claims process. No, no kidding. Um, so then last question, is there any sort of procedure that they need to follow? Like, do they need to log their visits or, you know, just what happens? They say, oh yeah, I checked on it, even though nobody's been there for, like, I think how that, do they... that's a great idea. I actually should suggest that. Yeah. If they could keep logs, that's great. If they can prove somehow just, yeah, date and time, um, just the more paperwork essentially and is just better. Just make sure you're, yeah, there's absolutely. no issues with, you know, if should a claim arise.